eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my lovely people. First off, let me say this. I don't know what was going on with YouTube yesterday, but baby, it had took a lot of content creators monetization away. We were not able to monetize our videos. So that meant I was not going to post for free. But this one right here is a paid one. And baby, we gonna get into it. When I tell you, this is one you're going to want to listen to to the end because, baby, if I have to take notes, I took notes off Gerard's live last night so we could discuss it today, baby, then that means we're going to get to the bottom of it, okay? So we're going to get right into this one. I don't repost content because that's not content. That's their content. So we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's break it on down. <clears throat> So Olivia gets on uh, YouTube yesterday. She is in her U-Haul. She is doing the woe is me. I'm sick. I'm this. I'm that. I'm trying to get moved. You know, the whole yada yada shebang bang that we're used to with Olivia. And then, of course, when she has no content, she starts writing on Gerard. Her big thing was that Gerard was not allowing her to speak to the children. You know, I call. They don't answer. You know, it's the rigmarole, okay? It is the rigmarole. But... She wants to keep on going. So Gerard says, baby, I'm going to hit this live button on Instagram. So he goes live last night for about an hour almost. And he's going and he's like, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And if you keep lying on me, I'm going to drop receipts. And so let's just say some of the things that he said, right? He went off to let him know, to let us know that Robin, okay, has told him the bad things that Olivia has said about him, and he has had to correct it, and he is tired of it, okay? He then says that Olivia and her mom both ain't S-H-I-T. Y'all, when he rolled on Stella, he said Stella gets on the phone when Olivia calls the children, and she wants to talk to the children and be messy more than Olivia wants to talk and be around her children. He says that... <laughs> I <laughs> can't make this one up, baby. That Stella gets on there and asks them questions like, have you ate protein today? And he said, baby, he said, Stella, the question is, have you ate protein? He said, you looking a little pale and you looking a little wrinkly. I about fell out of the bushes, baby. He said that they need protein in their life because they got problems. I agree, Gerard. He says that um, there are three court appointed days that Olivia can call, but he has told Olivia, hey, you can call at any time that you want to, okay? She told him, okay? So Olivia says, no, I'm only going to stick with the court appointed days. He said, well, you know the kids' schedule, so sometimes you may call the kids, and one may be at practice, one may be at home, one may be at gymnastics. That's the thing, though. You know their schedule, so I gave you an open range to call anytime. But Olivia does not want to do that. And then he said, if she tries, it's only when she's messy. Now, let me just tell you something. This is one thing that I agree. I agree with Gerard, and you can see it a mile away, see? Because Olivia has a lot of BS going on in her life right now. So I can see Olivia waking up yesterday and being like, you know what? I'm about to just start calling because I'm so miserable. I have nothing going on and I'm going to just try and make their lives be miserable today on a Saturday on a non, you know, non court appointed day. And like he said, if you call and you ask my kids, where am I at? What am I doing? Why can't I see your dad on the screen? And you are more concerned about me. He said, Olivia does not even ask the kids what they do in school, how they're doing in school. He said Olivia don't know teachers' names. He, he said that they had um, parent-teacher conference just this week. Olivia did not know that. She does not know that um, Robin is on the honor roll. She does not know that Christian's grades have improved, that they get perfect attendance. He said they don't ask anything. She never asks about her kids. It's always about him, and it's always petty stuff. Well, we know Olivia. We see what she does online. So we know that, right? And then he went to breaking it down that he was spending $1,000 a trip every three weeks 
to come to Florida and to see his children. And he says that Olivia constantly tells the children, I'm going to see y'all in just a little while. I'll be there in a little bit. I'm going to come see you play uh, football. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And it never happens. He also said that Olivia, okay, had said she was on her way there. He told her, okay, if you do arrive, you are allowed to have the kids. Just please bring Christian to his football game on Saturday. She tells him, if I get him, he ain't coming to no game. What kind of shit is that? Y'all, what kind of mom? Let me tell you, if I flew in, if I'm Olivia, let's just say, I mean, I could never be in her jacked up position, but if I was, right, if you fly in and you know that this is something that your child enjoys and loves and he's great at, we see Christian, he's good at it. Why wouldn't you want to come in, spend the day with your son, the next day attend his first game so that you don't have to be jealous that the stepmom is sitting out there with a, you know, uh, a teen mom shirt on? You could. You could cheer your child on. Then once they get off the field, take all three of your children to get something to eat or something fun to do. Man, you cannot make this up. Uh-huh. He says that the children want to call Olivia often, and every time she does not answer. Now, keep in mind, y'all, they're not calling each other on the phone like we do, okay? They go through a uh, court-appointed app so that every call, every text, everything can be seen by the judge. So, like Gerard said, when he goes in front of the judge and she says, well, I haven't talked to my kids, well, the judge will look on the app, right? And the judge will say, well, we can see that they've tried to call you, you know, umpteenth amount of times and you didn't answer. So how are you not able to talk to your children? It makes absolutely no sense. Once again, Olivia, the court watches everything. So, you know, court documents don't lie. They awarded this man custody. And the way that Olivia is going, they're going to award him full custody probably by the end of the year when they have their, uh, you know, next court date. But mm hmm. And the fact that she says she can't answer because she's working. Girl, what you working? What is you working besides people nerves? Because like he said, you ain't got no job, Craig. You ain't got no job. You don't. YouTube is a job. Like right now, if my phone was to ring and it was my son, I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to answer that phone and I'm going to see what my baby wants. That's something that you can do. We know you're not in school. We know you're not paying your bills. This has all been proven. And Gerard has, you know, repeated uh, the truth that you ain't doing none of the above. We know that you're not paying child support. He said, honey, this girl could not even afford a 50 cents folder. She didn't. Ooh, Anisha was cracking up in the background, y'all. This woman did not even supply one thing for the children to start school. He actually bops her on the head and says that he has the receipt, right? And if she was to say he's lying, he would drop it. That when the children started school this year, school fees were $150 a piece for Robin and Christian. And it was agreed, I guess, through the court, uh-huh, that Olivia was to pay $150 and then he would pay $150. He said Olivia didn't produce not one nickel, one dime, no folder, no pencil, no school fee. He ended up paying it. He said, honey, look on the court documents. You owe me $300 and something dollars just for the school year. He said, but I ain't got nothing. And he also said that the child support is paid through an app. And if she keep bumping her guns, he's going to put what he's gotten from her. And see, this is the thing, y'all, that y'all need to realize. On here, they label us as independent contractors or, you know, something that they can't take taxes out of. So, therefore, they aren't able to right now garnish Olivia's YouTube income. When Gerard works, and still works, but when he worked in all these states, because he had a check like everybody else, he was getting child support taken out weekly, baby. He even broke it down to call Olivia the devil. And, you know... He had to stop. He said, you know, this woman is a devil. She has no friends. She's never had friends. She's lonely. She's miserable. And he said, you know, her mother is the exact same way. That's why they are around each other. And then he was man enough to stop himself and say, hey, I'm not here to bash her because I was the fool that had three kids by her. So kudos to you, Gerard. You said how you felt, but you still threw the flowers to say, hey, you know, to each their own. It's my problem, too. 
I lay down with this woman. This is my whole thing that we have seen, right? We have seen Olivia go get tattoos, lip injections, buy $500 sunglasses. She's bouncing around having drinks with drag queens. She is in every club that you can imagine. She's taking Ubers. She's doing everything that she has to do to make herself feel happy. She's shotting it up. Shots, 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 shots. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. She's buying plenty of lace outfits, a lot of fashion over curve shit, and getting on here and thinking that she is bowdy bowdy, right? That's what she has been doing. So you mean to tell me that when your children grow up, because see, at the end of the day, these are people we know off the internet, but her children know that they call her and she doesn't answer. Her children know that she makes promises to come see them and it doesn't happen. They are at an age right now where they are very, 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 very fragile and they probably feel like they're being torn between two. But I'm gonna tell you something. It's only a few years for Robin to realize, hey, I'm going to look at what my mom was doing while I was with my father. And when they take a look over there and they see that you was getting tattoos, you was living your best life, that you could spend money on a divorce party, but you could not even send them a hair bow or a freaking bath soap, they'll, they're going to start to break it down and say, huh, all this stuff you told us was lies. And that's one thing Olivia doesn't realize. The camera doesn't lie. The camera does not lie. Then they'll go and they'll be able to see what their father has said to defend himself. And they'll say, well, hey, he's telling the truth. We knew we were eating. We knew he that he was taking care of us. Our hair stayed done. He tried to do the best he could. He came and got us. So, honey, when I tell you, this is one sticky, icky, messy situation. This is a co-parenting fail. And I hate to say it, but there, y'all, y'all, we all get out here and talk about baby mamas that ain't ish. Sometimes, okay, it ain't uh, the baby daddy. Uh-huh, that's what I meant. We talk about them baby daddies. Ooh, they don't do this, they don't do that. But sometimes it really is the baby mama. I have seen that case, and I'm seeing this case before. Sometimes the mother, uh-huh, is the one that is bitter and can't move on and can't pick it up and can't do right. And in this situation, that's what we going to call Olivia, just the can't do right. Uh-huh, she was interested. Okay, y'all. I can't make it up. The live may still be up on Instagram if you want to take a look at it. You might have been over there. But baby, <laughs> if it's just like you, and here's my number. Tell them right here. So call me maybe. We don't know what's going on. But y'all, I will see y'all in the next one. I can't wait to see these comments. Let's get on into it.